The idea for this project was to pick a concentration, in my case figures, and accompany this task with the study of two artists, historic and contemporary, who work in a similar concentration. The hope is that we would gain experience by looking at these two great artists and drawing parallels and perhaps inspiration. My goal for this project was to not only develop my own skills with figure drawing, but to also learn more about famous artists and art movements within the Renaissance and pop art movements. The Renaissance, meaning rebirth, was a time of enlightenment where advances in art, science, and math rippled throughout the world. It only seemed natural that at a time like this, geniuses would be born. Michelangelo, known by some as the greatest artist to ever have lived, was born in 1475 in Italy. Raised by a stone cutter after the death of his mother, Michelangelo became a sculptor, as well as a painter, architect, poet, and engineer. Despite his parents' wishes, grammar school couldn't hold Michelangelo's attention, and he preferred to copy paintings and hang out with other artists. At the age of 13, he apprenticed with the painter Domencio Gerliadio. Then from 1490 to 1492, Michelangelo attended the Humanist Academy. After that, he studied sculpture with Bertoldi di Giovanni. His most famous works are known throughout the world. His David, carved from marble and standing 17 feet tall without the base, is perhaps his most famous work of art. The Pieta, another very well-known sculpture, is also created from marble and shows the Virgin Mary cradling Jesus. Michelangelo also worked in fresco, creating many works including his interpretation of the Last Judgment and the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Wayne Theobald was born on November 15, in 1920, to Mormon parents in Arizona. After moving to Long Beach, California, he studied at the Frank Will Wiggins Trade School for one summer during high school. He then became a cartoonist, which went on for 11 years. From 1942 to 1945, he worked as an artist for the United States Army Air Force. After that, he went to St. Joe's State College, but switched to Sacramento State College. Wayne Theobald's work uses a lot of color, flat lines, and everyday subjects, which reflects pop art and new realism art movements of the time. His work often consists of cakes, pastries, boots, toilets, toys, and lipsticks. However, he did paint figures, often at the beach or strangely posing. He created prints in which he used lithographs, etchings, and wood cuttings. When he did paint, he used watercolors, acrylics, and oils. For his drawings, he used graphite and pastels. His work is often said to reflect the affluent times after the war and the obsession with materialism which can be seen through his paintings of food, objects, and clothing. He was also said to have been influenced by abstractionists such as Willem D. Kooning and Franz Klein, and pop artists such as Jasper Johns and Robert Rochenberg. Ultimately, coming out of this project, I feel that my skills with figures and proportion did improve. However, like everything in life, I need more practice. If I had spent the time and done a very long figure study, I feel that I would have been able to push myself more to get the shading and proportions right. Overall, this project was very beneficial to my drawing skills and my knowledge of past great artists. <laughs>